Good evening and welcome. My name is Yechiel Gressler and I am the Assistant Director of School Programming as well as a clinician for Madrigos Midwest. On behalf of myself and our Executive Director, Rachie Karish, we would like to thank our co-sponsor, the Yeshiva University Torah Metzion Kolel of Chicago, as well as our partnering schools, Ari Crown, Hillel Torah, and Ida Crown. Thank you to everyone who made this night possible. Of course, thank you to Rab Joey Newcomb for joining us tonight. I was very disappointed when I missed his performance on the Hask concert. But thank you, Hashem, for coordinating the events that he can join us tonight. And thank you to those who understood that line. I would like to sh briefly share a halachic ruling from a Herschel Schechter Shlita of Yeshiva University during this year's Sfira Saomer. As we know, generally, during Sfirah Saomer, we do not listen to music. However, Rav Shechter ruled that this year is different. Due to the circumstances of this year's pandemic, Rav Shechter wrote as follows, and I quote, During this time of global suffering, it would appear that for some individuals, refraining from listening or playing music, may leave one in a state of sadness or emotional distress. This would appear to reach beyond the intent of this restriction. If the motivation to listen to music is not to put oneself in a cheerful mood, but rather to ease the tension or pressure in one's home and help bring oneself back to a normal disposition, that would be permissible. One should still avoid listening to very cheerful music. Whether one adopted this practice or not, this ruling displays the significance of music in our emotional well-being and the significance of our emotional well-being on our Jewish and spiritual life. And that is why Madrigos Midwest is thrilled to be a part of tonight's event. It is now my pleasure to turn the virtual floor over to Rabbi Brand, the Rosh Kolel of Yeshiva University at Torah Metzion Kolel, to introduce tonight's performer. Good evening. Thank you so much, Rabbi Bressler. Just want to thank Madrigos Midwest for being such a phenomenal partner with us, to thank our partnering schools, Ari Crown and Rabbi Samber, Hillel Torah and Rabbi Linzer, Ida Crown and Rabbi Matanki, and thank all of you for being together with us this evening. It's a special opportunity for us to come together as the Chicago community. It's wonderful to introduce this evening a spectacular musical talent, and to do that, I want to give one last shout out to two gentlemen behind the scenes, Rabbi Ari Zucker and Rabbi Yossi Katz, who have orchestrated the logistics to take us to this evening to our performer, our special guest, Joey Newcomb, the Chavod Rav. It's a schuss to be here with the, by bringing together with the Haley Gideon in Chicago from Adragos from the Wayu Koilo. It's a special schuss, especially when you have an opening like that with the Rei Teire, with words of Torah, with words that open up your heart, Mamash. It's a very special to me to be part of this. To be able to sit here, Fabregging with Eden, even though we can't be together physically, but we could, we could be together, Ruchmias, Nick Mamash. Spiritually, we could be together. With, you know, in the beginning of, of Guf, we can't dance together, we, you know, but with the Neshama, we could dance together. So we sit here together with the Haley Gid. And just to start, look covered Rab Shimon. Look covered the coil, look covered everybody. Let's just start, let's open our hearts to the niggin. <laughs>
Canada. First of all, I want to give you a shakach of Shalom over here, the keyboard player. And behind the scenes, Rav Eitan and Rav Moshe, Haley Gibi, that are making sure that the wires are connected, Mamish. We said tonight how important it is to make sure that the wires are connected. <laughs> Sometimes there are people behind the scenes making sure the wires are connected. I'm sure the island knows you have a coil, you have organizations, you have shuls, you have chavra. There are always those people behind the scenes making, making sure the wires are connected. And nobody knows about it. So we have to thank Hashem. We have to thank Hashem for everything He's given us. Even when it's even when it seems like the situation is not easy. A ye thanks Hashem through everything. Because we say, I thank you, Hashem, even when it's Kiani Sani. So let's thank Hashem for all the beautiful organizations, for the Kailo, for Madragas. Let's thank Hashem for everything. Let's thank Hashem for Lai Boimer. Let's thank Hashem for Rabbi Shimon. Join me, everyone. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. There you go. Thank you, Hashem. There it is, Hashem. There it is. Thank you, Hashem. You ready, Chavit, to dance to the Barbang, the Covenant of Shimon? One, two, three, go! Everybody, let me hear you guys. 
I feel like the song is very important because we know that the 24,000 Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva, they had to leave the world because Shalai Nog who covered Zelazer. No matter what, a type of, what type of Yid, what type of Jew a person is, you have to love every Jew like he's a brother because it's the truth. I wrote this song, this coming song, I wrote this when I was davening Mincha in the Shul in Queens. It was called Kesset Toyre. And in front of me, there was a Litvish guy, a Chusid, a Breslov guy, a Svardi, a Yaki. <laughs> you could tell that the guy was a Yaki because he was the only guy there who was on time. So the Maisa, I thought that we're all diving to the same Avinu Shabbat We're all diving to the same Tatim Himmel. It hit me, Mama Shabbat Shalom. So I wrote this nigan. I wrote this song, Mama Schmidt and Shmanesser. I probably have to do tshuva to this day for that. <laughs> right after Mincha, I quickly recorded it, but I was thinking of the song because it just hit me so much that we're all together. And, you know, especially we have to work on this Indian when we sit in Lag Bal Emer, 24,000 Talmidim of Especially when we talk about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai taught the world about Panemius, taught the world about seeing deeper past the surface. When he looked at the Torah, he saw a Kabbalah, he saw the side. When he looked at another Yid, he saw a side. When he looked at the whole world, he saw a side. The Reb Shimon outlook of the world is to see way past the surface, and there's a beautiful world under every surface. So we're going to sing this thing, and it goes like this. Ani Litva Ani Yichusim Ani Breslau Ani Svaradi, Aval Kulanu, Bene Amele, Kulam Achim, Achim Ahuvim, Ani Litvak, Ani Yichusin, Ani Bresle, Rabbeinu, Ani Svaradi. אבל כולנו בני המלך כולם אחים אחים אהובים איי 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 Yeah. 
Anybody here to Chusim? Anybody here Breslev? Anybody here Svaradi? Aval Kula, Binei Amele, Kula Machi, Achim Ahovim. Let's try some other Yidden. You ready? Ani Yeki, Ani Teimani. Ani Lubavitch, Ani Tsioni, Aval Kulanu, Bine Amele, Kulamachim, Achim Alvim, there we go, the brazen air. Ay, 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 my holy brother I guess that means I'm on <laughs> and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a very happy log moment to everybody um, why you call Tom Ritzion, Madregos, thank you for putting this together and just creating this opportunity for Achtos, to Rabbi Brand, to Rabbi Bressler, uh, Rabbi Linzer and Rabbi Mantanki, and joining together with, uh, with everybody ac across the community. Uh, Torah says in Parshas Vayelech, Torah des is described as a shira, it's described as a song. We know with the Sparm bring down that, that all the letters of the Torah, each and every Yid is found in a letter of the Torah. And so by extension, the Torah being a song, that means each and every Yid is a note in that song book. And if missing, the song's just not the same. So when we come together to sing a song, the greater the achtos, the greater the song. The more notes involved, the more beautiful the symphony. I remember once when I was a counselor in Camp Stei Chemed in Eretz Yisrael back in the 1980s. And we were crisscrossing through the country over, it was on a coach bus that was, my bus happened to be about half full. And lo and behold on the side, and we were, as always, as we we're crisscrossing through the country, uh, singing on the bus was very common. Um, and lo and behold, a broken down bus on the side of the road, there was a group of, not yet from teenagers that were in Eretz Yisrael and their bus had broken down. And within, within moments, they were guests on our bus. There wasn't seats for everybody, but they were on the bus. And then crazy as it was, a few miles down, there was a van that was broken down and it was a group of Sephardish Eretz Yisrael who came on the bus. And before we knew it, we had pretty much every walk of life that you can imagine. And I still remember the niggin that we sang on that bus through the night with this collection of Yidin that no one knew each other before that night and we haven't seen each other since that night. Uh, we, the, the niggin of Borchenu Avinu from Kalbach, um, by the time we were done, everybody knew that song by heart. And the idea of every Yid being a note in HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Shira was became a, a, a very firm memory and an etched memory in my mind from that night. So as we sing together tonight, 
bond, let's bond together in Achdus and create that symphony, Ashira, from each and every one of our souls. Special, special nigga, Makavit. Makavit, the Rebbe who just spoke, Rabbi Samber. I listened to the Torah that you said that every yid is ice in the Torah, every yid is part of the nigga. And to me, as a musician, it means so much to me because when you write music, if you look at the sheets in music, there's no tear, there's no tear. But with talk, if one note is missing, then this, the whole song is missing. So it's machazing me so deep. So we're going to sing a nigga that you spoke about in the drush. Borcheinu ovinu, kulanu ki echad, kulawanu ki echad, biyor panev lecha. Borcheinu ovinu, kulanu ki Everybody sing with me.
behind the scenes the island is making sure that it's running smooth everybody sing with me in honor of Shimon in honor of the Hey of Shimon of Shimon Bar Yechai Yachalani Lifters Kala Elam Kulam and Adin Mamish of Shimon intervenes on behalf of Kla Yisrael you could run through of Shimon of Shimon is the Tzadik Yisoy Nailam he lives in the world of Kodesh HaKadashim He's one of those tzaddikim that has rishos to keep on intervening for all of eternity on our behalf, Mom. Countless mice, countless stories of people that went to Meron. Childless couples had children. People who need parnasa had parnasa. But I heard from a Haley Gayid, he said this year the Avoida wasn't for us to go to Rab Shimon. The Avoid of this year was for Rav Shimon to come to us, Mamash. We have to stay home to keep the world safe. Whatever the Gzeiro, for whatever reason, the Abish have decided that we have to stay home. We can't bring, we can't go to Meron, we can't go outside and make fire with the whole community. This year, Rav Shimon comes to us, Mamash. It's a day of Tefillah, it's a day of Racham, David, Mamash. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechol, Rabbi Lekuv Ratanu Eloi Ki Yiyim, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechol, Rabbi Lekuv Ratanu Eloi Ki Yiyim, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechol, Rabbi Lekuv Ratanu Eloi Ka, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechol. Oh, 
Rabbi Samber, I, uh, I promise it's not like that we like our Rimitanki better, but uh, wearing my other hat, I know you are my wife's boss, but he is, uh, he is my boss. So gives me great privilege, both personally and on behalf of Madregos, for everything Rabbi Matinki does for our family, for the Madregos family, for the Chicago family. And it's a pleasure to call upon Rabbi Matinki for a few words of Torah. Thank you very much, Rabbi Bressler, and thank you, Rabbi Brand, and especially thank you, Joey Newcomb, for this beautiful concert that we're participating in tonight. As you were just singing, this, is, this evening is about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. It's the time of the Hilula, the time when we celebrate, when we have a festival. But it's a very strange kind of festival because it's also the yard site, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And among the Hasidim and among the Mekubalim, we find a tradition that on your sites, unlike with the rest of us, it's not a time for sadness, but it's a time to rejoice. But why is it that we rejoice and why do we sing songs and why do we have concerts and why do people in every other year go to Meron in the north? and celebrate around the fire the Hilula of Rav Shimon Bar Yochai. Rav Aaron Soloveitchik, in one of his Sfarim, once explained it via a Pasuk in Tehillim. In Perek Pezayin it says, V'sharim kecholalim kol mayanai bach, that the singers and the flautists, those who play the flute alike, will say, all of my roots, all of my foundation is in you, O Yerushalayim. Said Rebaran, why do we have to talk both about those who sing and those who play instruments? The answer he suggested is because they represent two different kinds of Jews. The kind of Jew who knows the words to say, who can verbalize his emotions and his love for God and for Yiddishkeit versus the other kind of Jew who has difficulty finding the right words. And nevertheless, the music can pour forth. Tonight, when we celebrate this Hilula, we're celebrating every kind of Jew coming together in celebration. We celebrate the sense of achdut, of unity of Klal Yisrael, around the memory of what we were given by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the memory of this day of Lag Ba'omer, when the tragedy stopped. But we also remember the unity that we have, not only when two great organizations, Madregos and the Kolol come together, and not only when all of us come together, but how all of us have come together these past two months, and please God, we'll stay together as a unified community, protecting the safety of one another and guarding one another and uplifting one another by that sense of unity. Because it's song. Whether we know the words to the song or we just can hear the tune, that is so very, very special to our people. It's the song filled with emotion. And thank you for this opportunity. Visharim kecholalim kol mayanei bach. Singers and those who play the chalil all say, my roots are in you. And tonight, we have the opportunity, all of us, to say, we, are with you as well. We understand what it means to be a nation of song, a nation that celebrates the beauty of opportunity. May this be the opportunity that we've been waiting for, the opportunity to praise God and to come together as a community. Enjoy the concert. Ma 
Lord, be mine, the Heilige, be mine. Be mine is like the beginning of Heid Shabbat Heid. It's a whole different avoid. I want to sing the song because I feel like the words are very apropos for our situation. I'm sure everybody here knows the song. I feel like the words can connect to us on many different levels. Just think about it. Just think about it. We've been put through a situation where we can't be together. If there's ever been I'm a gay friend, fine, so I think we've at least always been together. This might be the first one we can't be together. So let's sing together. Someday we will all be together. Someday we'll be sheltered and warm. Never Express any fear, a scar, and our wounds will disappear. Avram and Yitzchak will be there to greet us. Yaakov and his sons will stand by and smile. Will lead us once again in Yerushalayim. Be Ezra Hashem. Take it away from Shloimeh. Sat in a dark, frigid cellar, alone, just a small.
shirt Albano will lead us once again. Not in New York. Not in New Jersey, John. Not in Chicago. Not in Detroit. Not in California. Not in Johannesburg. Not even in Catastere. Not even in London. Not even Manchester. Not even Australia. Not even in Wuhan. Not even the five towns, not even a Muncie. Not even in the windy city over there. But in Yerushalayim. Hey, look, Yerushalayim, our only home. Our only home in the world. Be One more time together with me. Someday we will all be together. Someday we will be sheltered and warm. Never will we have to express any fears. Oh no, I scar. And Corona will disappear. Avram and Yitzchak will be there to greet us. Yaakov and his sons will stand by and smile. Once again in the holy city of the Shalai. Heilige the Shalai. Heilige Tzvas. Heilige Meron. Heilige Chevron. Heilige the Shomron. The Galil. Tel Aviv. All the heilige places there to go. Yerushalayim. Bye. 
Thank you, 
Thank you to the YU Kailo. Thank you to Madragas. Thank you to all the amazing people that were behind us that made it happen. The cover at Tanner of Shimon. Thank you all. Thank you, Rabbi Samber, for the Holy Tyrus. Thank you. I wish I could. Uh, my mind is not working. I wish I could remember the, the other Rabbanim's names that spoke. Two different, two different Heiliger Rabbanim that spoke and said such beautiful Tyra. But uh, Lemaisa, at this point, my head is uh, ready to hit the sack. <laughs> Joey, thank you so much. Thank you on behalf of the Kolo of Madragos, of the whole Chicago community together. Thank you so much for spending this time with Kavad Tana. Thank you so much for joining us for our last message of Chizuk tonight. We turn to Rabbi Menachem Linzer, Principal of Pil Torah. Good evening, everyone. It's good to see you. Um, thank you again. Uh, Yishikach to Joey, an awesome concert. Love that song. I'm a huge fan. We sing it all the time uh, at, at the Hill Torah with the kids. And the Yishikach, thank you to Madregos Midwest and Yuvayitom Mitzion Kolo for bringing us together tonight for this amazing, uplifting evening. So I, we saw a lot of fires tonight. A lot of people had fires going on in the backyard, and Lagbomer traditionally is a yuntif when people like fires. What is a fire? A fire represents passion. The fire, right? It's hot and it's burning and it's going upwards. The fire always goes up, brings us closer to Hashem. Rabbi Akiva and his Talmud, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, were known for their passion. Famous story about Rabbi Akiva when he was being martyred. He said the Shema. They said, how could you be saying the Shema? And he said, my whole life, I was wondering about the Pasuk, Hashem we say in the Shema every day, and I didn't know how I was ever going to fulfill B'chol Nafshcha with all my soul. Hard to imagine, hard to understand that level that Rabbi Akiva was on. He was so connected with love and passion for Hashem, even to give up his life. He, he, was, he was waiting for the moment to give up his life. But there was another love that Rabbi Akiva stood for, that he dedicated his life to. And that's famously, we read a few weeks ago in Parshish Kedoshim, Ve'ahavta, and famously in the Sifri and the Yerushalmi quotes that Rabbi Kiva said, This is one of the most important mitzvos, one of the most important foundations of the Torah, is the love that we need to have for each other, for our fellow Jews. It's the love for Hashem, it's the Bechol Nafshcha, the Ahavta Hashem, 
and it's Ve'ahavta l'reach ha'kamocha. Rabbi Akiva's life was a life of passion, a life of love. It wasn't just superficial, going through the motions. We're living, of course, in challenging times that's creating a lot of nisyonos, a lot of challenges for each of us and each family, each person in their own way, whether it's in our avodas Hashem, in our relationship with God, whether it's in our other relationships with people, with our family members who are cooped up with for so many hours, that creates challenges, whether it's with colleagues, whether it's with people in the community, whether it's with other relatives. There are a lot of challenges that Hashem is giving us, and these are all opportunities. And this message, Rabbi Akiva's passion and his love, both for Hashem and for other people, is a critical message for us now, especially as we're heading into Shavuos during the days of Sfirah Sa'omer when we're supposed to be growing step by step towards Matan Torah coming up. And it's my bracha to each of us, and I wish my wish for each of us, my tefillah, that we should keep growing. We should focus on this internal fire, the neshama. Rav Cook spoke about that the the person's neshama is a fire. So we have the fire of Lagba Omer that we each have within each of us. And we have to discover that and we have to help that grow and grow to connect not only with Hashem, but also to increase with our love and our respect um, for each and every other person and our fellow Jews. And we should have everyone who needs it should have refuah shalema and we should all have a gula shalema. Thank you again to all the organizations for bringing us together for this important night of Achdus. And I wish everyone a good night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to Rabbi Linzer, Rabbi Samber, and Rabbi Matenki. Huge, huge thank you to Madregos. We're very excited that uh, right after this nine o'clock, Madregos is having a fantastic parenting program with Joey Rosenfeld. You can tap into Madregos on the Zoom at nine o'clock. You know, at the end of this period, we're concluding now, Rabbi Akiva lost 24,000 Talmidim. We don't really understand what even that means. And yet, the Frost at Ceres, right now in Langba Omer, two weeks before, you know what he did? He said, I'm going to start again with just five Talmidim. This Langba Omer, because of technology, there have been huge and amazing events around the nation and around the world. And people are, we have incredible resources. But at the end of the day, what's so beautiful about Langba Omer, Rabbi Akiva, is just the five Talmidim. It's just our community. It's just us being together. Just us Chicagoans all of us being together in our community, our neighborhoods, our family, and our organizations. So huge thank you to Mrs. Rachi Karish and her leadership of Madregos, together with all the lay leaders, some of whom you saw, whom you saw this evening. Huge thank you to our Kolo leadership, many of whom you saw this evening and their families, and to everybody in the community for making this beautiful community so special. So thank you. Thank you so much, Reiji. Thank you to everybody for coming. Yashukoach to our Rabbanim, our organizations, our schools. We should be together next year in Meiron, Yerushalayim, Yerach Kodesh. Have a good night, a safe evening. The Besurus Tovush, we should get together for Simchas very soon. All the best. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.